Drumnakili is a remote location about three miles from Oma. Police and British troops have the area sealed off tonight, but along this road is a car riddled with bullets. Three men are dead, two are said to be inside the car, and one lying half out of it. This shooting incident happened at about four o'clock, and it was some considerable time before the RUC gave any details of it. The scene is about 10 miles from the spot where eight British soldiers were killed and 27 others injured when an IRA bomb exploded near their bus about 10 days ago. A local man said that he believed a car belonging to him had been hijacked before the incident. Well, all I've got a phone call to say that one of my cars was hijacked, and you know, they were holding the the brother-in-law and uh, his two kids were in a, a farmhouse or in a house and uh, I'd come out to pick them up, you know. It seems that this car was later intercepted by British soldiers who fired on it. It's not known if fire was returned or who started the firing. Two local priests were called to the scene to give the last rites to the three men. Well, there are three, but two of them... Um could possibly be identified by recognition, but the third is, uh, seems to be very badly dismembered. Can you Were there a lot of bullets fired at them, do you think? Well, there's evidence of shooting, but it seems to be... Been... There, there has been a hail of bullets. Well, there are arms on the site, but I couldn't say who was carrying those arms. Are they in the car? They're on the roadside. Earlier today, Unionist MPs called for more security action by the British government. There's speculation that this evening's shooting was the result of such increased action and that the SAS was...